I'm calling today about a bill that I never received. Can you tell me which credit card it was for? It was for my MasterCard. You should have gotten that bill two weeks ago. I haven't gotten in the mail yet. The computer is showing that all bills have been mailed. What am I supposed to do about my bill then? Maybe you should call your post office. But if it's their mistake, can I get an extension on my bill payment? Yes, but you will need to send us proof of their mistake. Okay, thank you very much for your help. Not a problem. Enjoy the rest of your day. I haven't received my credit card bill yet. Which credit card are you speaking of? My MasterCard. We sent that bill out a couple of weeks ago. I never got it. Your bill was mailed already. What am I going to do since I haven't received the bill? If you haven't gotten it yet, then you should probably take that up with your post office. Can I get an extension on my bill if it does happen to be the post office fault? If that's the case, you will need to provide proof of their mistake. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Call back if you have any more questions. I was inquiring about a bill that I never got. Which credit card was the bill for? The bill was for my MasterCard. That bill should have been mailed about two weeks ago. It never came in the mail. My computer shows that it has already been mailed. I have not gotten my bill, so what should I do about that? You should try contacting your post office. If it is the post office's fault, may I have an extension on my bill? You have to prove it was their error, then you can get an extension. Thank you for all of your help. You are very welcome. Have a good day. There's a problem with my credit card. Tell me what the problem is. A charge came up on my bill that I didn't make. What was the charge for? The charge was for a $350 purse, but I did not buy it. Are you sure that you didn't make that purchase? I would know if I bought something that expensive. I apologize. What day was this purchase made? It was bought on November 12th at 3.15 p.m. while I was at work. All right, we'll do an investigation. Until this investigation is finished, will I have to pay for the charge? No, you don't. We'll take care of it. I have a problem with my credit card. What's wrong with it? There is a charge on my card that I didn't make. Can you tell me what the charge was? It's for a purse that cost $350. Are you positive that you didn't buy this purse? I can't even afford a purse that expensive. I'm very sorry. When was this purchase made? I was at work, but the purchase was made at 315 on November 12th. We're going to investigate this claim. Okay. Do I have to pay for this charge? You won't have to pay for anything. There is something wrong with my credit card. What's the problem? There is a charge on here that I never made. What charge was made? It was a charge for $350 purse that I never bought. You didn't make this purchase? I think I would remember if I made a purchase that large. Sorry, when was this purse purchased? It was purchased on the 12th of November at 3.15 p.m., but I was at work. We'll do an investigation and get to the bottom of this. In the meantime, do I have to pay for this charge? No, we'll take care of everything. I would like to order cable. Sure. What package do you want? What kinds of packages do you offer? We have all kinds of movie channel packages. What else do you have? There's a package for all sports channels. Do you have a package that includes all the movie channels with the basic channels also? Yes, we do offer that package. I want that. Do you want anything else? No, but it is possible for me to add channels later. You can always get rid of channels or add some later. I want to get some cable. Do you know what package you want to get? What packages do you have? We have movie channel packages. What else have you got? You can get the sports package. Is there a package with basic and movie channels? We have the package. Let me get that package. Is there anything else you would like? That's everything, but can I add channels later? You will be able to add or get rid of channels another day. May I order some cable from you today? Okay, what package would you like to order? I'm not sure of what packages you offer. We offer packages with all the movie channels. Are there any other packages? We also have packages with all the sports channels. I want a package that has the basic and movie channels. We have that available. I would like to get that. Would you like anything else with your package? That's it. But will I be able to add more channels at another time? Yes, you can add or get rid of channels later on if you would like. I would like to order some internet today. What kind would you like? What kind of internet is there? You can get DSL or dial-up. Which of those two is best? I would recommend DSL. So that one's better? It's better because it doesn't tie up the phone. What do you mean by that? 
DSL isn't connected through your phone line, but dial-up is. So then I can't use my phone if I'm on the internet? That's correct. With DSL, you can do both. I need to get internet. Which kind of internet connection do you want to get? What kind can I get? There is dial-up or DSL. Which one do you feel is best? I would get DSL if I were you. DSL is better than dial-up? It's the best choice. Plus, it won't tie up your phone line. I'm not sure what that means. Dial-up is connected through your phone, unlike DSL. That'll make it impossible for me to use. Exactly. With DSL, you don't have that problem. I'd like to have internet on my computer. You know what kind of internet you would like to get? What are my options? You can get dial-up or DSL. Which one would you recommend? DSL is the best choice. Why is DSL better? It's a lot better because it doesn't tie up your phone line. What exactly does that mean? Well, with dial-up, your internet is connected by your phone line. That means that I can't use my phone and the internet at the same time, right? That's right. You won't have that problem with DSL. I need to get my high-speed internet installed. You'll need to make an appointment. Could I do that right now, please? What day would you like us to do the installation? Is Friday good? We're only available at 3 p.m. You can't come any earlier than that? I'm sorry. That's the only available time. Are you available this Saturday? Yes. Any time on Saturday will be fine. How does 11 sound? We can do it. See you then. I would like high-speed internet installed in my house. You have to make an appointment before we can come out and install it. I'd like to make an appointment right now. What day are you available? I would like to have it done this Friday. 3 o'clock is the only time we can come in. Is it possible for someone to come a little earlier? I'm sorry, but that's our only available time. How about Saturday? We're completely open on Saturday. Can you come over at 11? That'll be fine. When can I get high-speed internet installed? You're going to have to make an appointment. Can I make one right now? When would you like the installation to be done? I'm off this Friday. The only time we can come on Friday is at 3 p.m. I'm going to need it installed earlier than that. I'm sorry, but we're booked up on Friday. Is Saturday any better? Saturday is perfect. What time would you like? Is 11 fine? That's perfect. See you on Saturday. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it's just not connecting. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. Does the internet come up at all? It does but it won't connect to anything. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Could you send someone to fix it today? I'll send somebody over right away to fix it. When will they be here? They should be there in the next hour. I need to get my internet fixed. What's the problem with your internet? It won't connect. How long has this been happening? This has been happening for a few days now. The internet doesn't come up at all? It just won't connect to a web page, but it will pop up. There's obviously a problem with your connection. I'm going to need someone to come and fix it for me. I can send somebody right now to fix it. How long will it take for them to get here? They'll be there in about an hour. Can you send someone to fix my internet? Are you having a problem with it? My internet is having problems connecting. Can you tell me how long your internet has been messing up? I've been having this problem for the last few days. Will the internet even pop up? It'll pop up, but it won't connect to a web page. Since the internet isn't broken, your connection must be messed up. Do you think you could send somebody over to fix it? If you'd like, I can send someone to fix it right now. How long will it be till they get here? It should be no longer than an hour. Hello, I am calling about my cable service. What's the problem? For the past week, my cable hasn't been working. I apologize, but the cable has been down lately. Do you know when it's going to start working again? Give it a couple days, and it should be back on. Will I still have to pay for the cable while it's not working? Since it's not working, I'm going to give you a credit. So, I don't have to pay anything? You won't pay anything until your cable starts working again. Okay. Thank you very much for your help. No problem. Thank you for being so understanding. I have a question about my cable. What do you need? I haven't been able to watch my cable for the past week. Right now, the cable isn't working. Could you tell me when it will be back on? The cable should be running again in a couple of days. In the meantime, do I still have to pay for the cable? We'll just give you a credit for the inconvenience. Does that mean I won't have to pay for it? It'll be free until it comes back on. Thanks. I appreciate your help.
Thank you for all of your patience. I have a problem with my cable. What about it? My cable has been out for the past week or so. The cable is down right now. I am very sorry. When will it be working again? It should be back on in the next couple of days. Do I still have to pay for the cable? We're going to give you a credit while the cable is down. So I don't have to pay for it? No, not until your cable comes back on. Okay, thanks for everything. You're welcome, and I apologize for the inconvenience. I'm having problems with my computer. What's wrong with it? For some reason, it won't turn on. Have you checked the connections on your computer? What connections? There are cords that connect your computer to a power outlet. Oh, will the cords keep it from turning on? It won't turn on if the cords aren't connected. I didn't think of that. Try it and see if it works. I think that I will. Thanks. It should work, but let me know if it doesn't. My computer isn't working. Tell me what the problem is. I'm trying to turn it on, but it won't work. Try checking the connections. Which ones are you referring to? The cords that you see behind your CPU that plug into an outlet. Is that why it won't turn on? If they're not connected right, that will keep it from turning on. I did not know that. You should check the connections. I'm going to do that. Tell me if it's still not working. Something's wrong with my computer. What's the problem? My computer won't turn on. Did you see if all the connections are right? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. The connections between your CPU and your outlet. Is that what's stopping my computer from turning on? If your plugs aren't connected all the way, the computer won't turn on. I had no idea. Why don't you try it and see what happens? I'll try it right now. Let me know if that doesn't work. Hello, how are you doing today? Great. What can I help you with? I need to make an appointment for a haircut. Okay. What day would you like to come in? How Saturday? Let me just check the books. Okay. Yes, we have openings only that morning. Can I make it for ten thirty? That'll be fine. Sounds great. Thank you. No problem. See you Saturday morning. Hi. How's it going? Perfect. What did you need? I would like to schedule an appointment to get a haircut. What day are you free? I'd like to come in on Saturday. I'll just see if we have any openings. All right. The only time we have on Saturday is in the morning. I'd like to schedule it for ten thirty. That's perfect. I appreciate that. We'll see you then. How are you? I'm fine. How can I help you? I need to get a haircut, so can I schedule an appointment? What day would you like to make the appointment? I was thinking Saturday. All right. Let me check to see if we have any openings that day. That's fine. You can only make an appointment for Saturday morning. Is ten thirty okay? I'll pencil you in for that time. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. We'll see you on Saturday. I want to try something different today. What do you mean? I want a different hairstyle. What style do you want? Can you make my hair short? Exactly. How short do you want it? Make it a few inches long. Are you sure you want me to cut it that short? I've been thinking about this for a while now. Okay, I'll do it if you're positive that this is what you want. I honestly want my hair that short. Oh, right. Let's begin. Let's do something different today. Like how? I would like you to give me a different hairstyle. What do you have in mind? Give me a short haircut. Do you know how short you want your hair to be? I want you to cut it a few inches long. That's pretty short. Are you sure about this? I've had this idea for some time now. I'm going to do it, but you have to be sure you really want me to. This is what I want. Fine then. Let's get started. I really want to switch things up. What were you thinking? I think I want to try a new style. What would you like me to do? I want you to cut my hair shorter. How short? I want my hair to be only a few inches long. Do you really want it to be that short? Yes, I've been wanting it short for a while now. If you really want me to, then I'll do it. I'm absolutely sure that this is what I want. Let's do it. Are you almost finished with my hair? I'm almost finished. How much longer is it going to be? I'm done now. Do you like it? I absolutely love it. You really like it? Yes, I truly do. I'm glad you like it. How much do I owe you? It's going to be fifty-five dollars. Here you go. Thanks for everything. Make sure and come back in a couple of weeks, honey. Will you be done doing my hair soon? Give me a little while longer. How much time do you need? 
There you go. How do you like it? I think it looks gorgeous. You think it looks nice? I honestly think it looks great. Thanks. I'm glad that I did a good job. How much is it for my hair? Just give me $55. Thanks for doing such a good job. No problem, girlfriend. I'll see you next time. Is my hair done yet? Yeah, I just need to make the final touches. How long until you're finished? I'm finished. What do you think? I like my hair so much. Do you really? It's beautiful. Well, thank you very much. How much is it for my hair? You owe me $55. Thanks for everything. You are very welcome. Come back again. You're spending a very long time on my hair. I'm almost done. I needed you to be done and finished an hour ago. I'm all done now. Are you sure you're finished? I don't understand. You did a horrible job on my hair. What's wrong with it? I don't like anything about it. I apologize. That's fine, but I'm not paying for it. Excuse me? Let's try to work this out, okay? Oh, it's taking forever to do my hair. Give me a minute. You should have been done already. There you go. I don't think that you're done. What's wrong? My hair looks hideous. What's so bad about it? It doesn't look good at all. Sorry about that. I really hope that you didn't expect me to pay for this. Well, let me talk to my manager, okay? What's taking you so long? Don't worry. I'm almost finished. I need you to hurry up. All right. I'm finished. I think there's more you need to do. What do you mean by that? My hair looks awful. What don't you like about it? I just don't like my hair. I'm sorry that you don't like it. I won't be paying you for this. I'm sure we can work something out. Have you been coming to this laundromat long? I've been washing clothes here since a few years ago. Why is that? It doesn't cost me as much to wash here. I've just started doing my clothes here. Why are you washing your clothes here now? My washing machine broke down. You should just pay someone to fix it. It's too expensive to get it fixed. So you're just going to wash here? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. It costs less to wash here. How long have you been washing clothes here? Uh, well, I started washing here about three years ago. How come? I can wash my clothes for less money here. This is my first time washing clothes here. What reason are you washing here today? I can't wash at home because my machine is broken. Go and get it repaired. That'll cost too much. Are you going to continue washing your clothes here a while? I have no choice. Washing clothes at the laundromat costs a lot less money. Do you wash clothes here often? I've been coming here for the past few years. Why do you wash here? It's actually a lot cheaper for me to wash my clothes here. I've only washed my clothes here a couple of times. Why don't you wash clothes at home? Uh, I would if my washing machine wasn't broken. Why don't you just get it fixed? I can't afford it. So you plan on washing your clothes here from now on? That's my only option right now. Don't worry. Besides, it's a lot cheaper to wash clothes this way. I'm not sure about how to operate the washer and dryer. What's the problem? I need help turning them on. You need change? The machine takes change? Yes, it costs 50 cents for the washer and a dollar for the dryer. Where do I put the money in? You put the coins into the slot, push it in, and it will turn on. That's it? There's nothing else to it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me know if you need anything else. I need help using the washer and dryer. Tell me, uh, what the problem is? I can't figure out how to turn them on. Do you have some corners? I didn't know I needed change. The washer costs 50 cents and the dryer costs a dollar. Where do I put the change? The corners go into the slot. You have to push the slot in and then the machine will turn on. Is that everything that I have to do? And that's all there is. I appreciate you helping me with this. If you need anything else, just let me know. Could you tell me how to use the washer and dryer? What do you need help with? Do you know how to turn them on? Do you have any change? I need change for the machines. You need to put 50 cents in the washer machine and a dollar into the dryer. So, what do I need to do? The machines will turn on once you put in the quarter into the slot. That's really all I have to do? That's everything. Thanks for all your help. I'm here if you need any more help. Hello! I'm returning your phone call. I'm glad that you could get back to me so fast. No problem. 
What were you calling about? I needed to talk to you about your son. Is he messing up in school? He was acting up in class one day last week. What was he doing? He wouldn't stop talking throughout the class. I don't know what's gotten into him. If you could, would you please talk to him? I will get right on that, and I'm very sorry. I really appreciate your help. Did you call me? Thank you for returning my call. What was your call about? I wanted to have a talk with you about your son. What did he do? He was messing around last week in class. Exactly what did he do? Even though I asked him not to, he kept speaking out in class. I don't know what his problem is. I need you to talk to him if you don't mind. That won't happen again. I'm sorry. Thank you. Hopefully, I won't have to call about him again. I believe that you called me. Oh, hi. Thanks for getting back to me quickly. Why did you call me? I was calling about your son. Did he do something wrong? Your son was acting up in class. What do you mean? He was talking and causing a disturbance during class. That's really not like him. If you could, just talk to him. I would greatly appreciate it. I apologize, and I'll make sure he doesn't do that again. Don't worry about it, but thank you very much. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad we're meeting today. Thank you. You're welcome. I would like to talk to you about your daughter. Is there a problem? No, your daughter is great. That's great news. Your daughter is a wonderful student. She isn't messing up in class. Of course not. Your daughter is smart and very well behaved. Well, I'm so glad to hear that she's doing well. It is my pleasure to have her in my class. We finally get a chance to meet. Thank you for meeting me here. It's no problem. I need to speak with you about your daughter. Is there something wrong? I enjoy having your daughter in my class. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. She is a great addition to my class. You don't have anything bad to say about her. She is always behaving herself, and she's so smart. I'm so happy that she's doing okay. I am more than happy having her in my class. Hi, how are you? It's nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. It's my pleasure. I wanted to meet with you to discuss your daughter. Is she acting up in class? Not at all. She is a joy to have in my class. Is she really? She is absolutely wonderful. So she isn't causing you any problems? No. She's actually very intelligent and well-behaved. I'm glad to know that you like her. You have nothing to worry about with her. Can you go to the store for me? Sure, I can go to the store for you. What do you need? Just a couple of things. Here's a list. Is there anything else that you want me to pick up? No, I think that's all that I need. Is there any other place you'd like me to go for you? If you can, could you pick up my prescription for me? Sure, no problem. Is your prescription ready? I think so. It should be. Okay, I'll pick it up for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can you pick up some things from the store for me? Of course. What do you need? I need a few things. I'll give you a list. Is there something else you need that you can think of? Everything I need is on the list. Do you want me to make any other stops while I'm out? Since you asked, would you pick up my medicine from the pharmacy? Is it ready to be picked up? I believe so. No problem. I'll do that for you. I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's no problem at all. I would appreciate it if you could go to the store for me. No problem. What do you want me to get? Here's a list with a few things that I need you to get. Did you forget to put anything on the list? I don't think I forgot anything. Would you like me to go anywhere else for you? If you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you would pick up my prescription. Has your pr prescription been filled out yet? Someone at the pharmacy called and told me it was ready. Sure. I'll go get it for you. Thank you. Anything for you. How much is the fare for this bus? It costs a dollar twenty-five to ride the bus. So, how long have you been driving buses? I've been driving this bus for only a few months. Do you enjoy being a bus driver? Not really. I would never dream of driving a bus. I didn't either, but a paycheck's a paycheck. Well, it was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Have a good day. That'll be hard to do. While driving the bus, how much for the bus ride? It's a dollar twenty-five for this bus. How long have you been a bus driver? I started driving the bus a few months ago. Is it?
fun driving the bus? Not at all. I don't think I ever want to be a bus driver. I never did either, but it pays the bills. I enjoy talking to you. I like talking to you, too. What does it cost to ride this bus? The fare is $1.25. Have you been driving buses a long time? I haven't been driving for a long, only for a few months. Do you like to drive the bus? Not in the least bit. I would have never dreamed of ever becoming a bus driver. I never dreamed of doing this either. The only thing I like about it is the money. It was really fun chatting with you. It was really nice talking to you. Have a good one. I'll have a good day once this day is over. Do you realize what time it is? I'm sorry, I lost track of time. Do you honestly believe that that is a good excuse? Not at all. That is what really happened. How many times do I have to ask you to call if you're going to be late? Yes, I know. I must have forgot. That's besides the point. You still should have called. You're right. I'm sorry. Next time you come in late without calling, you're gone. You're really going to kick me out? Yes. Maybe then you'll figure out how to follow the rules. Actually, if you kick me out, your rules won't matter anymore. Do you have any idea what time it is? My bad. I didn't realize that it was so late. Do you really think that that excuses your tardiness? Of course not. I really did lose track of time. Didn't I tell you to call when you're running late? Yeah, you did. I, I just forgot to call. It doesn't matter. You should have called and let me know. That's true. M my bad for not calling. If you do this again, don't even bother coming home. You're going to kick me out over this? Exactly. Maybe that'll teach you to respect my rules. Well, if I'm not living here anymore, then I won't have to listen to your rules. Do you know how late it is? My fault. I didn't realize what time it is. I hope you don't think that excuse lets you off the hook. Not really. I'm telling the truth. Haven't I asked you to call if you're going to be home late? This is true, but it must have slipped my mind. Regardless, all you had to do was give a call. I know. I should have called. Come home late one more time, and you'll find your stuff outside. You want to throw me out over this? That's right. Maybe then you'll respect my rules. That's fine, because if I leave, then your rules won't matter. Did you clean your room today? No, not yet. Well, when are you planning on doing that? I'm going to clean it up later. Didn't I ask you to clean it up earlier? I'm going to clean it. I want you to vacuum in your room and don't forget to dust everything. I know. I'll do it. Make sure you clean it before you do anything else. I'm not going anywhere until later, so I'll clean it then. Have you begun cleaning up that room of yours? I haven't started it yet, but I will. What time are you going to clean it up? I'm planning on cleaning it up a little later. I told you to clean it up earlier. I know. I'm still going to clean it up. Make sure you vacuum and dust your room. I won't forget. I don't want you to leave until you clean up. My plans aren't until later, so I'll clean it before I go. Have you started cleaning up your room yet? I haven't gotten started on my room yet. When exactly do you plan on cleaning it? I have every intention of cleaning my room later. I thought I asked you to clean your room earlier. I already told you that I'm going to do it. Remember to vacuum the floor and dust everything. I'll remember to do that. Make sure that you don't go anywhere until you clean your room. I'll clean my room before I leave. So hungry, can you buy me a burrito? I don't have any money to buy you a burrito. Please, I haven't eaten anything all day. Look, I only have money to buy myself a burrito. I'm so hungry, I could eat a whole cow. If you're so hungry, why don't you ask someone else for the money? I get paid on Friday. I'll pay you back then. Well, I guess on Friday, then you can eat. That's pretty messed up. Why don't you just go home and eat? I don't want to go all the way home just to eat. Well, I guess you're out of luck. I really want a burrito. Can you get me one? I haven't got any money to purchase a burrito for you and me. Would you please buy me one since I haven't eaten today? I only have a few dollars. I could eat a horse right now. I'm so hungry. I want to eat too. Ask someone else to feed you. Well, since I get my check this Friday... I can give you your money back then? 
So then, this Friday, you'll be able to eat. You're mean to say that. You should just go home and make yourself a sandwich or something. My house is too far. I'm really hungry. It sounds as if you're going to continue starving. I'm starving. It would be truly appreciated if you bought me a burrito. I'm a little short. I don't have enough for you. I'm starving as I didn't eat yet today. I really don't have enough money. My stomach feels so empty. Well, why don't you ask Bob for some money? I'm hungry too. I'll be getting money on Friday and I'll get it back to you then. Okay, so on Friday, you can buy yourself something to eat. That's not nice. You can always go home and make something to eat. I can't go home yet because I have things to do here. Sorry, that's not my fault. Did you feed the puppies today? Yes, I have. That's good. Just make sure to bathe them later. No problem. I can do that for you. Thank you. You know, they have to go to the vet on Saturday. I know. What time do they go? Their appointment is at 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay. I won't forget. Have you given the puppies food yet? Of course. I fed them today. Good job. Please give them a bath later on today. Sure. I'll give them a bath. Thanks. But don't forget, they have a vet appointment this Saturday. I remember. What time do they need to be there? They need to be there at 11 in the morning. All right. I'll make sure and remember. Have you given the puppies anything to eat today? I fed them earlier today. Great. Could you please bathe them later? Okay. I'll do that later. Thank you. Remember that they got to go to the vet this Saturday. I know. What time is their appointment? We need to have them there at 11 a.m. I got it. I will remember. What's for dinner tonight? It's whatever you're planning on cooking. You're not going to cook? No, I always cook. Yeah, and I love your cooking. Don't give me that. If you're hungry, then cook dinner. You're being serious? Look, I'm really tired tonight. I don't feel like cooking dinner. Okay, I'll make dinner tonight. Uh, thank you, I'm going to bed. Do you want me to wake you when dinner is ready? Yes, please. What are we going to eat for dinner? Whatever meal that you plan on making. I thought you were making dinner tonight. I do all the cooking. Your food tastes so much better than mine. Save it. If you want something to eat, then make it yourself. You really want me to cook tonight? I had a long day today. I really am not in the mood to make anything. No problem. Thanks. I'm going to go take a nap. Would you like me to come and get you when the food is done? Uh, thank you. Uh, so, what's on the menu for dinner tonight? You tell me. You're not going to make anything to eat? You never cook. I always do. I think you're a better cook than I am. Oh, please. You need to cook tonight. So, you're telling me that you want me to make dinner? It was a hard day. Can you just do this for me tonight? I'll cook dinner. Don't worry. I'm going to go rest for a little bit. I'll come wake you when it's ready, okay? Thanks. Have you washed any clothes yet? No, I've only washed my whites. When you wash your dark clothes, can you put some of mine in? Sure. Is there any extra care that I should take with your clothes? Just make sure you keep it on the gentle cycle. How many clothes of yours do you want me to wash? There isn't a lot. Why? Do you have a large load to wash? It's really only a small load. Do you mind washing my clothes? Not at all. It's no problem. Thank you so much. It's no trouble at all. Have you finished washing clothes? I finished my white clothes. I need to wash the rest. Well, when you do your darks, can you wash some of mine too? I can do that. Is there a special way you want them washed? They need to be washed on the gentle cycle. Do you have a lot of clothes that need to be washed? There aren't many clothes. Is your load big? My load isn't that big. If it's a problem, you don't have to do it for me. I can do this for you. Don't worry. I greatly appreciate this. Don't mention it. Did you already wash your clothes today? I've only washed my white clothes. Could you wash some of my dark clothes with yours? Is there any special care I should take with your clothes? The only thing is that they have to be washed on the gentle cycle. Are there a lot of clothes? There aren't a lot of clothes. Do you have a lot to wash? Uh, it's a medium load. You don't mind, do you? No big deal. I'll do it for you. Okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. 
It's time for bed. I'm not ready to go to sleep. I'm not tired. It's quite late, and you have an early day tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to fall asleep. Why don't you try counting sheep? I've tried that before. It really doesn't work. That's besides the point. You still need to go to bed. Why can't I just stay up until I fall asleep? If I let you do that, then you're just going to be up all night. I promise I'll go to sleep soon. No, you're going to sleep now. So good night. See you in the morning. Shouldn't you already be in bed? I can't sleep. I'm really not at all that tired. You need to get some rest. As you have to get up early in the morning. It's impossible for me to get to sleep right now. Just close your eyes and try not to think. That really does not work for me. It doesn't matter. You need to get some sleep. How about I tire myself out and then fall asleep when I'm tired? Then you're not going to go to sleep. Don't worry. I'll make sure and get to sleep in a little while. I want you in bed right now. So sweet dreams. Fine. Sleep well yourself. Isn't it past your bedtime already? I'm not sleepy. It's getting late, and you have to wake up early tomorrow. There is no way that I can fall asleep right now. Try listening to some soft music. <laughs> It won't work. I'm nowhere close to being tired. I really don't care. Just go to sleep. What if I stay up and do something until I get tired? You'll be up all night if I let you do that. I'm going to. Get to sleep eventually. You need to go to sleep now. So, go to sleep. Good night. Wake up! It's time for school. I'm so tired. Let me sleep for five more minutes. You have to get up and get ready for school. I know, but just five more minutes. I can't let you go back to sleep because you won't wake back up. I promise. I'll wake up in five minutes. You still need to eat breakfast, take a shower, and get dressed. I realize that, and I can do all that when I wake up in five minutes. I don't want you to be late for school today. I'm not going to be late today. Fine. Five more minutes. Thank you. Get up. It's time for you to get ready.、Uh, let me just have five more minutes of sleep. I would, but you need to start getting ready for school. I understand, but all I want is five more minutes of sleep. If I let you go back to sleep, I know that you won't get up in five minutes. Trust me, I'm going to wake up. You have a lot to get done this morning. I already know, and I'll take care of all of that when I wake up. I want you to be on time for school today. I'll make it to school on time. Don't worry. Okay. I'll let you sleep for a little while longer.、Oh, I really appreciate that. It's time for you to wake up. Oh, give me five more minutes. I'm really tired this morning. I'm sorry, but it's time for you to get ready for school. I get that, but just let me sleep for a little bit longer. We're not going to get up in five minutes. If I let you fall back asleep, believe me, I will get up and. Get ready in five minutes. There's a lot that you need to do this morning. I understand, and it will get done after I wake up in five minutes. I would like for you to not be late for school. I'm going to be on time today. Go back to sleep then, but only five more minutes. Thanks a lot. Do you enjoy going on dates? Yes, I find dates to be a lot of fun. What's so fun about them? To give me the opportunity to get to know someone better. So you always have fun on dates? Not always. I don't always like the person I'm on the date with. Why not? My date might not be my type. So then, why would you ask them out in the first place? I didn't realize until after our date that they weren't my type. Sounds like a huge waste of time to me. Now that I think about it. It really is sometimes. Do you like dating? It's really a lot of fun. What makes it so much fun? It makes it easier to get to know somebody. Are dates always fun to you? Sometimes I may not like the person I'm having a date with. Why is that? The other person isn't always my type. Why would you bother going out with them then? I didn't know that they weren't my type until after I got to know them better. It seems to me that you're wasting your time. You're absolutely correct. Sometimes it is a waste. Are dates fun for you? I enjoy dating a lot. 
Why are they so fun for you? Dates allow me to meet new people. Your dates are always fun? Well, I don't always like who I'm dating, so not always. How come? The person I am dating may not be my type. How come you ask them out if they weren't your type? You don't always know what type of person you go on a date with until you know them well enough. Dating sounds pointless. Now that you mention it, sometimes you're right. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what's up? Well, I was just wondering if you'd like to go out this Friday. Really? Yeah. I was thinking we could go get a bite to eat and catch a movie. That sounds like fun. Of course. We can do something else if you'd like. No, no. Dinner and a movie sounds great. Well, what time would you like me to pick you up? How about 7.30? <laughs> that sounds good. So I'll see you then. Okay, cool. May I ask you a quick question? Of course. Uh, how would you like to go on a date with me this Friday? Seriously? Well, I figured that we could go see a movie and get some dinner. Cool. That sounds like it will be fun. We can always do something else if you'd rather. Not at all. I would love to go to a dinner and a movie. That's great. So what time do you want me to come get you? Is 7.30 okay? Friday at 7.30 sounds perfect. Great. See you then. Can I ask you something? Sure, you can. What's going on? Would you go out with me on Friday? Are you for real? I thought that we could go to dinner and a movie. That actually sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Unless there's something else you would prefer to do. Actually, I would really like to go to dinner and a movie. What time do you want me to come by and pick you up? Is 7.30 cool with you? That's perfect, so I'll see you then. Perfect. I'll see you on Friday. Hi, Todd. How's it going? Things are going well. How are you, Mary? I've also been doing well. You know, I've been thinking about maybe taking in a movie this weekend. Do you like to go to the movies? Yes. I really enjoy the movies. Well, I've been hoping that we could spend some time together away from here. I was wondering if you would like to go out Friday evening for dinner and a movie. Sure. That sounds good. Is there any movie in particular that you might be interested in? I was thinking about that movie, Australia. Yeah, that looks like one that we both might enjoy. If I picked you up at 7, would that work out okay for you? 7 o'clock would be great. Fine, then I'll see you at 7. I am looking forward to a great evening. Hey, Todd. How are you? I've been doing well. How are things with you, Mary? Things are good with me also. Mary, I was looking in the paper at the new movies coming out. Do you enjoy movies? Yes, I go all the time. I was hoping that you and I could maybe spend a Friday evening together. I was wondering if you would like to go with me this Friday to see a movie and get a bite to eat afterwards. I would love to go out with you on Friday. Do you have a certain movie that you would like to see? I've heard a lot of things about the movie Australia. You know, I was thinking that that would be a good movie to go see together. Would 7 be a good time to pick you up? 7 o'clock would be perfect. Okay, I'll pick you up at 7 then. Todd, how have you been? Everything is good. How have you been, Mary? Perfect couldn't be better. Mary, I was thinking that I might go to the movies this weekend. Do you go to the movies very often? Yes, I like going to the movies. Would you be interested in letting me take you to the movies on Friday? Maybe we could get a bite to eat afterwards. I think I would enjoy seeing a movie with you on Friday. Uh, I am not sure what movies are out right now. Have you heard of any that you might be interested in? I think that the new movie Australia looks like it might be good. That movie sounded interesting to me, too. If I picked you up at 7, would that be too early? I think that 7 o'clock will work out well. Perfect. Well, I'll see you at 7 on Friday, then. Hi, are you Mia? I am Mia. You must be Ruben. Yes, that's me. It's so good to finally meet you. Karen has told me so much about you. I hope that she had good things to say about me. <laughs> she had only good things to say. Did you have trouble finding me? Well, how many beautiful women in a red dress by the fountain are there? <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. So would you like to get a bite to eat, Mia? That sounds perfect. Lead the way. Hi, is your name Mia? Uh, yes, my name is Mia. Are you Reuben? Yes, I am Reuben. Finally, the infamous Reuben. I've heard so much about you that I feel like I already know you. Oh, no. I hope they had positive things to say. Don't worry. All the stories were good. How were you able to find me so quickly? 
It was pretty easy to find the beautiful woman in a red dress next to the fountain. Oh, well, I guess that kind of narrowed it down. Mia, could I interest you in some lunch down the street at my favorite cafe? Yes, it's a great day for a little walk and some lunch. Hi, I'm looking for a woman named Mia. I think I'm who you're looking for. You have got to be Reuben. <gasps> that would be me. Reuben, Karen and Mike have spoken about you so often that I feel I've met you before. I hope that what they had to say was mostly good. The, they only said wonderful things about you. You did a good job of finding me. Finding the beautiful woman in a red dress next to the fountain wasn't all that hard. Yes, I guess it was a choice of me or the pigeons. I was hoping that we could take a walk down the street to my favorite cafe. Lunch sounds great. Let's head on out. Hi, Linda. This is Todd. Todd, good to hear from you. I just wanted to tell you what a great time I had with you at the movies last week. Me too, Todd. Thanks for suggesting that great movie. I also enjoyed it and was wondering if you would like to go for a hike in the mountains with me on Saturday. I would love to join you on a hike. Could I maybe bring a picnic lunch for us to eat on the trail? Sure, Linda. That's a great suggestion. Fine, then. What time are we going to leave? I was thinking maybe 9 o'clock or so, so that we could get started before the heat gets too bad. 9 would be perfect. I'll see you then. Linda, this is Todd calling. Todd, I'm so happy you called. Linda, I wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed our time together last Friday night. Boy, Todd, that was one great movie you picked out. Thanks for asking me to go with you. I had a great time, too, and was thinking that maybe you might want to join me for a hike to the waterfalls on Saturday. A hike would be great. Let me pack us a nice picnic lunch, okay? Linda, that would be a perfect addition. I'll take care of the lunch then, and you can take care of the other plans. What time would you like to pick me up? I was hoping to leave by 9 so that it won't be too hot for the hike. 9 is a great time to get started. I'll see you on Saturday. Oh, hi, Linda. This is Todd. Yes, Todd. How nice to hear your voice. Linda, I just wanted to say that I had a wonderful evening with you last Friday. I really enjoyed our evening together, Todd. I had fun. Also, and was wondering if you would like to go hiking with me in the mountains on Saturday. Hiking would be perfect. May I bring along a picnic lunch for us to share? A picnic lunch would be uh, a nice thing to have along. I'll work on the lunch, and you work out the details of where we'll go. What time do you want to be at my house? Nine would be good, don't you think? Nine is good. See you on Saturday. John, I was talking to the travel agent about where we might be taking our vacation this year. I'm going fishing in Alaska with my friend Mark. What are you talking about? What's wrong with heading out with Mark for vacation? You and I have been together for a whole year, and our vacation time should be about the two of us. Really? Who made that rule up? With that attitude, I don't really think we have much more to discuss here. That works for me. John, I was looking through some magazines for ideas about where we might go on vacation this year. I've already told my buddy, Mark, that I'm going hunting with him in Alaska. <gasps> you can't be serious. Hey... I've always gone hunting or fishing on vacation. I'm sorry that bothers you. After a year together, I thought it pretty safe to assume that we would automatically spend our vacation together. Says who? I don't think that is necessarily the case. You know, now that I think about it, I really don't have much more to say to you at all. Whatever you say. Brian and Christina were mentioning that maybe it would be fun to go on vacation together this year, John. I thought that I already told you that I am going with Mark to Alaska. Are you kidding me? You know what? You and I had no plans, so I made plans with Mark. What's the problem? We have been together for a year, and usually people who have been together a year take their vacation together. I don't think that I've ever heard of that rule before. Any more rules that you would like to tell me about? Go on your vacation with Mark, and when you come back, why don't you just move in with him as well? I am really looking forward to getting away from you, far away from you. Joe, how are you doing? 
I'm great. How about you, Mary? How are you? I am doing great. Thank you for asking, Joe. I was wondering if you want to go see a movie with me tonight. I need to stay home tonight and finish my term paper. Okay. What about going to the movies on Friday night? What were you planning on seeing? I was thinking about seeing that one about the rapist serial killer. How about the secret life of bees? That's a chick flick. Hi, Joe. How are you doing today? Things are going good today. How have you been doing, Mary? Things are going well for me, Joe. Want to go see a movie tonight? My parents are taking me to dinner tonight. Could you go with me to the movies on Friday night instead? What movie did you want to see? There is a new horror flick about a rapist serial killer. I was thinking that I would like to see The Secret Life of Bees. Oh, great. Sounds like something I need to bring Kleenex to. Hey, Joe. How have you been? Oh, I'm doing well. How about you, Mary? I am doing okay, Joe. There is a new movie at the mall that I want to see. Want to go with me? I can't because I already promised my roommate that I would go shopping with her. I could go to the movies on Friday night instead. Would that be better? Did you have a certain movie in mind? I thought that the movie about a serial killer who rapes and mutilates his victims would be a good choice. I kind of want to see The Secret Life of Bees. Uh, uh, maybe we can think of something somewhere between a chick flick and a horror movie. <laughs> Hi, Kara. It's Mike here. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? I'm doing well, and you? Everything is going great. Kara, would you be interested in going to dinner again this Friday? Mike, I had a good time, too, but I'm getting ready to move back to the East Coast, so I think I shouldn't get too involved right now. Well, we could just go out as friends. Right now, I think I need to really focus on matters at home, but thanks for a nice evening. Hi, Kara. This is Mike. Hello, Mike. How are things going for you? Great. How are you? Fine. Everything is just fine. Kara... I had a great time the other night and was wondering if you'd like to go out again this weekend. Mike, I've enjoyed your company, but I am getting ready to graduate soon. I really need to focus on my studies. Maybe I could help you with that. What do you need to get done? Oh, it would be better for me to just deal with getting my work done. But thank you for a lovely dinner. Hello, this is Mike, Kara. Mike, good to hear from you. How are you? Everything is fine. How are you? Things are going well with me. Kara, I had fun the other night at the movies and was wondering if you would like to go out again this Friday. Mike, I don't think that's a good idea to go out again. I really need to focus on getting packed and ready to move back home. Maybe we could just meet for coffee or something. I can't really deal with any distractions right now, but I appreciate the nice evening we spent together. Hello, where can I buy an inexpensive cashmere sweater? Maybe you should look around for an outlet. That is a wonderful idea. Outlets have more reasonable prices. Thank you for your help. No problem. Good luck. Hi, where can I find a cheap cashmere sweater? How about an outlet? Great idea. Outlets have good deals. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello, do you know anywhere that sells cheap cashmere sweaters? Outlets have cheap cashmere sweaters. What a splendid idea. Outlets usually give you great deals. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. Hi, do you know a place that sells cheap cashmere sweaters? An outlet carries cheap cashmere sweaters. That's a good idea. I've always had good luck at outlets. Thank you for the suggestion. I hope you find a nice sweater. Hello. I'm looking for a shop that sells inexpensive cashmere sweaters. Have you tried an outlet? Why didn't I think of that? Many of my friends shop at outlets. Thanks. That is a good suggestion. I'm only too happy to help. Pardon me, could you help me? Of course. How can I help you? I am looking for a sweater. What size do you wear? Medium, I think. Here. How do you like this one? It's pretty. Can I try it on? You can try it on in the fitting room over there. 
Excuse me. Can you help me? Certainly. What can I do for you? I need to purchase a sweater. What is your size? Medium should be fine. Is this one okay? Hmm. Can I try it on somewhere? The fitting room is in the left corner. Hello. May I ask you a question? Yes. How can I assist you? I want to buy a sweater. What size? I think a medium should fit me. How about this one? The color's nice. Do you have a dressing room? There's a fitting room right over there. Hi. Do you have a second? Sure. What do you need? I'm here to buy a sweater. What size do you wear? I usually wear medium. What do you think about this one? It's nice. Where's your fitting room? The dressing room is in that corner. Excuse me. Could you help me with something? I'll certainly try. I'm looking for a nice sweater. What size do you wear in a sweater? Medium is my size for shirts and sweaters. Here's a medium. What do you think? I like it. Where can I try it on? We have a large fitting room in that corner. What do you think? It looks great. I would like to purchase it. Will this be cash or charge? Here, take my credit card. Just sign here, please. Sure. Here you go. Here's your receipt. Have a nice day. Does it look too big? It looks like it was made just for you. Yes, I like it. I'm going to get it. How would you like to pay for it? Here's my credit card. Now, if you'll just sign here. Yes, here you are. So long. Have a nice weekend. Does it look too small? It fits you to a T. I agree. I'm going to buy it. Cash or charge? I'll charge it. Sign here, please. There you go. Goodbye, and thank you for shopping here. Does it look like a good fit? It's definitely your size. Yes, it is very nice. I'll take it. How do you prefer to pay? Let me use my credit card. Now, if you'll just sign here. No problem. I hope you enjoy your purchase. Goodbye. Well, how does it look? It's a perfect fit. Let me pay for it now. Cash, credit card, or debit card? I think I'll use my credit card. Your signature here, please, and we're finished. Here's my John Hancock. Bye bye. Visit us again soon. Hi. I'd like to return this radio. All right. Do you have the receipt? Here it is. May I ask why you're returning the radio? It does not work very well. Would you like to exchange it? No. I'd just like a refund. Certainly. This will only take a few seconds. I want to return this radio. Okay. May I see your receipt? Certainly. I have it right here. What is the problem with the radio? It has poor reception. Perhaps you'd like a different one. No, thank you. A refund is all I want. Okay. Give me a few seconds, please. I need to return this radio. That won't be a problem as long as you have your receipt. Here you go. What's the problem? It doesn't pick up my favorite station. I can exchange it for you. Thanks, but I just want a refund. A refund it will be. Do you have the original box? I'm returning this radio. No problem. You do have your receipt, don't you? Here you are. What seems to be the problem? It doesn't have a headphone jack. If you'd like, I can show you a different one. No thanks. A refund will be just fine. No problem. This will only take a minute. I don't want to keep this radio. No problem. Let me see your receipt, please. Of course. I always keep my receipts. Is there a problem with the radio? Something is rattling around inside it. Would you like a different model? No. Just give me a refund, please. Okay, a refund will be no problem. I'd like to return this radio. Okay, do you have your receipt? I lost it. I am sorry, but you need a receipt for a refund. But I purchased it yesterday. Perhaps you would like to talk to customer service. Well, that's a start. I guess they're right upstairs. That sounds good. 
I'll take the escalator. Good luck. I hope someone can help you. Hi. I want to return this radio. Okay. Do you have your receipt? I'm sorry, but I lost it. I'm sorry, but store policy requires a receipt. But I bought it yesterday. Maybe you can find the receipt if you look harder. Can I talk to your supervisor? May I suggest customer service upstairs? That sounds good. I'll take the elevator right now. Good luck. Hello. Can I return this radio, please? Sure. Do you have your receipt? I misplaced it somewhere. Unfortunately, I cannot give you a refund without it. But I bought it right here just yesterday. I'm sorry, but there are no exceptions. Someone must be able to help me. Someone in customer service might be able to help you. Yes. If anyone can help me, it's customer service. Just take the escalator upstairs. Hi, I don't want to keep this radio. No problem. May I have your receipt, please? Sorry, I could not find it. We can't give you a refund without a receipt. You know, I bought it at 3 p.m. yesterday. I wish I could help you, but it's store policy. Every rule has an exception. Perhaps if you try customer service. Yes, they might be able to help me. They're upstairs. Good luck. Hi, I'm returning this radio. Certainly. Can I see your receipt, please? I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm sorry, but you can't return the radio without your receipt. Even though I just bought it yesterday. Are you sure that you looked everywhere for the receipt? I looked everywhere, twice. Well. Customer service is right upstairs. Maybe they can help. Great! I'll take the escalator. If they can't help you, nobody can. May I exchange this DVD player? Certainly. Do you have your receipt? Here you are. Now, why do you want to exchange it? It won't play a DVD. I'm sorry. I'll get you a new player. At first, I thought it was me. <laughs> okay. Here's a new one for you. I'd like to exchange this DVD player. Of course. Do you have your receipt? Here it is. Now, could you tell me why you want a different one? It refuses to play my DVDs. That's strange. Well, let me get you a new one. All my friends tried to get it to work. I hope this one works better for you. I want to exchange this DVD player. No problem. Do you have your receipt? That's one thing I never forgot. Now, what seems to be the problem? This DVD player won't play DVDs. Well, at least you kept your receipt. One moment, please. I spent almost an hour trying to make it work. If this one doesn't work, just bring it back. Can I exchange this DVD player? Let me see your receipt, please. I always keep my receipt here. Could you tell me what the problem is? When I hit play, nothing happens. Yours is the first one that's been returned. Nothing I tried would make it work. You might want to try playing this one before you leave. I need to exchange this DVD player, please. That won't be a problem if you have your receipt. Here you go. Now, if you'll just tell me the problem, please. It won't play my DVDs. This is a good product. I wonder what went wrong. I don't know. I trust this brand. This was a fluke, I think. You're right. This is a good brand. This new one should work just fine. Excuse me. Can you help me? Certainly. What can I do for you? May I exchange an open DVD? Certainly, as long as you have your receipt. Here you are. I'm sorry, but you're only allowed to return items within 30 days. Is there any way I can exchange it? I'm afraid not. Well, I'm not coming here anymore. I'm sorry, but please don't blame me. Pardon me. May I ask you a question? Of course. How can I help you? I opened this DVD. Can I still return it? No problem. May I have your receipt? Here you go. Oh. It looks like you bought this more than 30 days ago. 
Can't you bend the rules just a little bit? I'm sorry. Well, you just lost yourself another customer. Don't get mad at me, please. I don't make the rules. Can you help me, please? No problem. What is your question? Is it possible to return an opened DVD? Sure, as long as you have your receipt. Here you go. I'm sorry. You can't return something you bought more than 30 days ago. Well, yes, but this is only day 32. Isn't that okay? I'm sorry, but rules are rules. Well, this is ridiculous. I won't shop here anymore. Well, if I was the boss, the rules might be different. Can you give me a little help, please? That's what I'm here for. Can I return this DVD even though I already opened it? That won't be a problem if you have your receipt. It's right here in my wallet. Oh, the date on the receipt says that you bought it too long ago to return it. But aren't there any exceptions? If I make an exception for you, I have to do it for everyone. How do you expect to keep loyal customers? I wish I could help you, but I didn't make the rules. Would you help me, please? It would be my pleasure. I want to return this opened DVD. Is that possible? No problem at all. Do you have your receipt? Let me dig it out of my wallet. I'm sorry. You can't return something more than 30 days old. There must be some way around this. I'm sorry, but I have to tell everyone the same thing. No. That's the dumbest rule I ever heard of. Maybe the rules will change if we lose all of our customers. Can you help me pick out a gift for my daughter? She might like a laptop computer. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Might I suggest a Mac? Okay, how much? Well, a 15-inch Pro is $2,100. Oh, that sounds great. I'll take it. Great. How would you like to pay for it? Here's my visa. Let me ring you up. Okay, sign here, please. Everything I need is in this box. It'll take her only a few minutes to get online. Thank you for your help. So long. Thank you for shopping here. I'm looking for a gift for my daughter. How about a laptop? Yes. She needs something to help her at school. How about a Mac? That sounds good. How much is one? Our newest 15-inch Pro is only $2,100. Only $2,100? Okay, let me have one. That's great. Will that be cash, check, or credit card? Let me dig my visa out of my purse. Okay, if you'll just sign here, please. Do I need to buy anything else? All she has to do is open the box and follow the instructions. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you have any problems, just call. I need help finding a gift for my daughter. Would she like a laptop? That sounds like a good idea. A Mac is a very popular brand. She mentioned a Mac. How much is it? A 15-inch Pro model is $2,100 plus tax. That sounds like a great price. I'll take one. This is a gift she'll cherish for years. How do you want to pay? I'll use my visa. We're almost through. Just sign here, please. Just take it home and plug it in? She'll be online 20 minutes after she opens the box. She's going to be so pleased with this. Remember us for all your computer needs. I wonder if you could help me find something for my daughter. Do you think she'd like a laptop? I think that would be perfect. A Mac is something most people appreciate. In fact, she prefers Mac. How much is one? Our 15-inch Pro will cost you only $2,100. She's going to be so happy. Let me have one. You've made a good decision. How would you like to pay? I'll pay for it with my visa. It's all yours after you sign here, please. Are there any extras that she needs? This is good to go. If she wants accessories, just visit us again. You've been so helpful. Thank you. Have a nice day, and thank you for shopping here. 
I'd appreciate it if you could help me pick out a gift for my daughter. Would she be interested in a laptop? That's exactly what I was thinking of. A Mac would be an excellent gift. I like Macs. How much for a Mac? You can take a 15-inch Pro home right now for only $2,100. A Mac it is. I'll take one home with me. She'll be very happy with this. And how do you plan to pay for it? I'll use my visa, if that's okay. Now, if you'll just sign here, the Mac is all yours. Will she need anything besides what's in this box? Everything she needs is right here in the box. I appreciate your help. Maybe I'll be back for more computer stuff. Your daughter should get straight A's from now on. Goodbye. Can you help me pick out a gift for my niece? Most normal little girls go wild over Barbie dolls. That sounds good. Let me see one. Here's the latest model, Digital Barbie. Oh, she's nice. How much is she? Why, she's only twenty-nine ninety-five. Well, that's reasonable. I'll take it. Excellent. Would you like anything else? No, thank you. The total will be thirty-two dollars and forty-two cents. Will that be cash? Oh, cash will be fine. Here's your change. Thank you for shopping with us. Hi, I'm looking for a gift for my niece. Well, little girls seem to love Barbie dolls. That's perfect. I want to see one. Here you are. She's called Digital Barbie. Oh, I like Digital Barbie. How much does she cost? This Barbie is only twenty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. That's perfect. Let me have her. Very good. Is there anything else you would like? No, that'll do it for now. Including tax, your total will be thirty-two dollars and forty-two cents. Cash or charge? Let me give you cash, please. Here's your change and receipt. Thank you. Hello. Do you have anything for a little girl? Well, we have some new Barbie dolls. That's a great idea. Show me the Barbie dolls. Here's one. The new beautiful digital Barbie. This doll is hot. How lovely! How much is she? It's only twenty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. No problem. Let me have one. That's great. Anything else? No, thank you. That's all I need at the moment. The grand total is thirty-two dollars and forty-two cents. How would you like to pay? I'll give you cash. Thank you so much for shopping here. Here's your change and receipt. Hi, I want to get something nice for my niece. Well, I've never heard of a little girl that didn't love Barbie dolls. I like that suggestion. Show me one, please. Here you go, digital Barbie. Oh, my niece will love her. How much for her? Barbie is our best seller. She's only twenty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. That's great. I'll take her. Your niece will love this. Anything else? Thank you, but no. This will do it for now. With the tax, your total is thirty-two dollars and forty-two cents. Would you like to charge it? I'll pay cash. Thank you. Thank you for shopping here. Can you help me find a nice gift for my young niece? Barbie dolls are quite popular, you know. You're right. Girls love Barbie. Show me a Barbie doll. Take a look at the newest Barbie. Digital Barbie. She's beautiful. What's the price for Digital Barbie? Our regular price for Digital Barbie is twenty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents plus tax. Only twenty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. I'll buy it, of course. Another one sold. Do you see anything else you would like? Thank you, but no. This will do it for now. Tax brings your total to thirty-two dollars and forty-two cents. How would you like to pay? Cash, please. Here's your change. Thank you. Can you tell me where the pots and pans are? Pots and pans are right over there. Oh, thank you. Could I interest you in our store credit card? No thanks. I already have credit cards. But our credit card saves you ten percent. That's a nice discount. Here, let me give you an application form. Thank you, but I'm just browsing today. Okay, enjoy your browsing. Hi, I'm looking for pots and pans. 
That section is right over there. Thank you so much. Perhaps you'd like to sign up for our store credit card. No, but thank you. I have plenty of credit cards. Our credit card saves you ten percent instantly on all purchases. Well, that does sound nice. Just fill out this form, and you'll get your discount immediately. You know, I'll pass on it today. No problem. These forms are also at the front of the store on your way out. I'm looking for your pots and pans section. We have a huge pots and pans section right over there. Thank you for your help. You know, we have a store credit card. No, thank you. I already have a thousand credit cards. But our credit card gives you ten percent savings. Well, ten percent is certainly better than zero percent. All you have to do is fill out this form for an instant discount. Thank you. Maybe next time. Okay. If you need anything else, I'll be right here. Where are your pots and pans? All our pots and pans are right over there. Oh, I walked right past it. Perhaps you'd be interested in a store credit card. Thanks, but no thanks. My wallet is full of credit cards. But only our credit card will save you ten percent on all purchases. Well, that sounds nice. Just take this form, fill it out, and get your instant discount. Not today, thank you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. If you change your mind, I'm right here. Where is the pots and pans section? You'll find all our pots and pans right over there. Thank you. All I had to do was open my eyes. Would you like to receive our store credit card? No, thank you. The last thing I need is another credit card. But with our credit card, you save ten percent instantly. Well, that's something to think about. If you fill out this form, you'll get a discount starting today. Maybe next time, when I have more time. I understand. Good luck in the pots and pans section. Hi, I'd like to get your store credit card. Here's the application form. I'm finished. Here's the form. Thank you. Now, if you'll just give me a credit card. Here's my visa. Thank you. I want to get a store credit card. I have the application form right here. Okay, I've filled up the form. Here you go. Thanks. Now all I need to see is a credit card. Here's my Mastercard. Thank you very much. I want to fill out the form for a store credit card. Very good. Here's the application form. Okay, I filled out all the information. Here's the form. Thank you. Now I need to see one of your credit cards. Here's my American Express. Thanks. Hello. I want to apply for your store credit card. It only takes a few minutes. Just fill out this form, please. I'm done. Here's the form. Thank you. Now, if you'll just show me a credit card. Here's my Discover card. Perfect. Thank you. I'm interested in a store credit card. Okay. Here's the application form. Okay, I've filled everything out. Thank you. Now let me see a credit card, please. Certainly. Here's my Visa card. Very good. Thank you. Excuse me, but is this dress on sale? The dress was on sale yesterday. Are you sure? I'd be happy to pay the sale price today. I'm so sorry, but rules are rules. Okay. I'll just check out a few other stores. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Pardon me. Is this dress on sale? Actually, the sale ended yesterday. You know, it's only one day later. How about giving me the sale price? I'm sorry, but I can't change the price that's in the computer. Okay, let me think about it. Maybe I'll wait until the next sale. Take a look around. Maybe you'll see something else you like. Is this dress on sale? It was on sale, yesterday. Still, couldn't you sell it to me today at the sale price? I'm sorry, but I'd lose my job if I sold it to you at yesterday's sale price. I had my heart set on buying this dress. Well, feel free to browse. We have other items on sale today. Am I right in thinking that this dress is on sale? I'm sorry. You are one day too late for the sale. 
Couldn't you still sell it today at the sale price? I'm sorry. One day can make a big difference sometimes. No problem. Other stores are having sales. I'll check them out. Before you go, let me show you some other dresses that are on sale. Am I mistaken, or is this dress on sale? I'm very sorry. The sale ended yesterday. I really like this dress, but I want to pay the sale price. If you like, I can put you on our mailing list for the next sale. That's okay. Some days you win, some days you lose. Let me ask my manager when he thinks this dress will be on sale again. I'm glad these batteries are on sale. I'm sorry, these batteries are not on sale. But that's what the ad said. I'm sorry. If you look at the ad again, you'll see that the other brand is on sale. Oh, you're right. I misread the ad. Yes, many people make that mistake. Well, you can't blame them. It's a confusing ad. You're right. Many ads are like that. Well, as long as I'm here. Just one second, and I'll get you the batteries that are on sale. It's about time these batteries went on sale. I'm sorry. These aren't on sale today. You're kidding me. The ad says they're on sale. Yes, the other brand of batteries is on sale. Oh, I see. I've got the wrong brand. Yes, it's an easy mistake to make. Well, the ad is written in a misleading way. I agree. It seems like all ads are meant to confuse you. Oh, well, it's not the first or last time. Hold on, and I'll get you the batteries that are on sale. You don't often find these batteries on sale. I'm not sure that these batteries are on sale today. But the ad says they're on sale. Yes, batteries are on sale, but not this brand. Well, what do you know? I picked up the wrong brand. Yes, several customers have made that mistake today. Well, like many ads, it's deliberately confusing. I couldn't agree more. They write ads just to get you into the store. Well, I should know better by now. If you can wait one minute, I'll bring you the batteries that are on sale. This is the first time I've seen these batteries on sale. I'm sorry, but they aren't on sale today. Well, look at the ad. The ad says they're on sale. Yes, the ad says that the other brand of batteries is on sale. Oh, yes. I misread the ad. Believe me, you're not the first person to make that mistake today. No wonder people make a mistake. The price is in big letters, and the brand is in tiny letters. You're right. You have to read and add two or three times sometimes. Yes, you have to be careful with every ad you read. It's okay. I'll go get you the batteries that are on sale. These batteries should be on sale more often. I don't think these batteries are on sale. Look at the ad. It says they're on sale. You're right. Batteries are on sale, but not this brand of batteries. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the brand name. Several people have misread that ad already today. People make the mistake because the ad is misleading. I agree with you. Ads can be very tricky. I don't know when I'll ever learn. No problem. I'll bring you the batteries that are on sale. I'll be right back. I would like to exchange this dress. You can exchange this dress with anything of the same value. Is there anything on sale today? I'm sorry. There are no sales today. Are dresses going to be on sale? Everything's going to be on sale next weekend. That's great. I'll wait. See you next weekend. Okay. I'll see you then. I want to exchange this dress. You can exchange it with anything of the same price. Are there any sales today? We're having a big sale next weekend, but nothing today. What's going to be on sale? Dresses, skirts, blouses, pantsuits. Everything will be on sale. That sounds great. I'll come back next weekend. Okay. Don't forget to bring your credit card. This dress doesn't fit correctly. No problem. Shop around until you find something you like. What's on sale today? If you can wait until next weekend, you can save some money. 
Do you know what's going to be on sale? You'll be happy to know that everything in the store will be on sale. Well, I won't miss that. I'll wait until next weekend. Great. Bring lots of cash so you can buy lots of things. I don't want to keep this dress. Just leave the dress with me while you find the one that you like. Do you have anything on sale today? Next weekend is our next sale date. Do you have any idea what's going to be on sale? Everything except the cash registers will be on sale. That sounds good. I'll see you next weekend. Okay. See you then. I've bought this dress back to exchange it. That's not a problem. Leave it with me and find something that you like. I was hoping you'd have something on sale today. We have nothing on sale today, but we're having a big sale next weekend. Is the sale going to include dresses? Everything you can see will be on sale. I like the sound of that. I'll just come back next weekend. The savings will be worth the short wait. See you next weekend. I need some flowers for my wife. It's her birthday. Very well. We have some fresh red roses. How much are the roses? Twenty dollars per dozen. That sounds like a good deal. Yes, they're on sale today. I'll take a dozen. Splendid. Will there be anything else? No, the roses will be fine. I'm sure your wife will love them. My wife's birthday is today. I need some flowers. We have lots of fresh red roses. How much do the roses cost? Twenty dollars a dozen. That sounds good. Last year I paid thirty dollars. Yes, you came here on the right day. They're on sale today. Give me a dozen. Very good. Would you like anything else? No, I'll just give her the roses and a card. She should be very pleased with these roses. I need to buy some flowers for my wife. Perhaps you'd be interested in red roses. What would the roses cost me? They're only twenty dollars a dozen. I like the sound of that. Yes, that is today's sale price. A dozen will be fine. Is there anything else you'd like to get? No, thank you. These roses should make your wife very happy. I want to buy some flowers for my wife's birthday. Red roses are always a popular gift for birthdays. What are the roses going for? They're only twenty dollars a dozen. That sounds nice and cheap. Yes, you're saving money because they're on sale today. Okay, give me the roses. Could I interest you in anything else? No, but thanks anyway. Your wife will be thrilled with the roses. It's my wife's birthday. I need to buy some flowers for her. Most women love red roses for their birthday. How much will the roses be? You can get a dozen for only twenty dollars. Now that's a price that I like. You're in luck today because the roses are on sale. Okay, I'll take the roses. Very good. Perhaps you'd like something else to go with the roses? No, the roses are good enough. Women love roses. So your wife will be very happy. I want to find an old music box. We have a great selection. What decade are you looking for? Do you have anything made in the 1920s? We have six. Do any of them have dancing figures? Actually, two of them have dancing figures. That's fantastic. I think I like this one. A good choice. I prefer that one myself. Now, is there any warranty with this? Oh no, I'm afraid not. These things are just too old to guarantee anything. I understand. Even if they break down, they're still works of art. Excuse me, I'm looking for an old music box. Any particular decade? Something made in the twenties would be nice. We had seven, but we sold one this morning. Are dancing figures a part of any of the boxes? You're in luck. Two of them have dancing figures. Oh, these are great. I think I'll take this one. Yes, that one is very nice. Now, does this come with a warranty? I'm sorry, but you just have to take your chances. That doesn't surprise me. Even if it doesn't work, it's a beautiful collectible. Pardon me, I need an old music box. Exactly, how old a box do you want? Actually, I was thinking about something from the 1920s. We still have six left. Do any of the boxes have dancing figures? 
Dancing figures are quite popular. Two of the boxes have them. I love the dancing figures. I'll take this music box. Yes, I think you'll be very satisfied with that one. I was wondering, does this come with any kind of warranty? No, but if something goes wrong with it, I know someone who repairs these things. I was just hoping. It's amazing that these things still work as well as they do. Hello, I want to purchase an old music box. We have a good variety. What decade would you like? I was hoping I could find something made in the 20s. There are six on this table. I hope at least one of them has dancing figures. Many people like the dancing figures. Two of our boxes have the figures. So hard to choose. I think I'll take this one. That one will bring you many hours of pleasure. Mm. Does a warranty come with this music box? I'm sorry, but if it breaks down, you're on your own. I just thought I would ask. When you buy a Model T, you can't expect a warranty. I'm searching for an old music box. You came to the right place. Any particular decade? If you had a box made in the 20s, that would be nice. We just got one in yesterday, so now we have six. Would any of them have dancing figures? Yes, we still have two boxes left that have dancing figures. Oh, they're both so beautiful. Let me have this one, I think. That one truly is a beautiful piece of work, isn't it? One last question. Do you provide a warranty with the box? Oh, no. Everything we sell here is as is. I guess I was asking for too much. If it breaks down, maybe you can find a repairman on the internet. I am looking for a pan. No problem. What size would you like? A big one would be nice. How about this one? It's our biggest, 16 inches in diameter. Oh, yes. I like that one. But it's too heavy. Okay. Try this one. It's made of aluminum. Oh, yes. This is much better. But it has an aluminum handle. Here you go. Same pan, but with a state-of-the-art, heat-resistant plastic handle. Yes. That's perfect. I'll take it. Great. Will that be cash or charge? Oh. Wait a minute. What about a lid for the pan? I'm sorry. I forgot to show you the lid. It comes with the pan. I need a pan. Okay. Do you have a particular size in mind? Well, the bigger the better, I think. Look at this one. It's our biggest pan. Yes. That is big enough, but it's too heavy for me. Okay. We have the same thing in aluminum. Ooh. This is nice and light. But it has an aluminum handle. Try this one. Same aluminum pan, but with a heat-resistant bamboo handle. Oh, yes. This is very nice. I'll take this one. That's a good choice. How do you want to pay for it? Uh, cash. Oh, I almost forgot. I need a lid, too. Oh, I'm so sorry. A lid comes with a pan. Here it is. I'd like to purchase a pan. Is there any particular size that you want? Well, I cook a lot of big meals. What do you think of this one? It's a 16-inch pan. Yes, that's the right size, but it's so heavy. Well, look at our aluminum pan. It's much lighter. Yes, this is very light, but the handle is also aluminum. No problem. Look at this one. Same pan, but with a lightweight wooden handle. Great. This is exactly what I was looking for. I'll buy it. I think you'll love this pan. Do you want to pay with cash? Yes. Oh, wait a second, please. What about a lid? I'm sorry. I forgot to show it to you. Here it is. It comes with the pan. Can you help me find a pan? Are you looking for a small, medium, or large pan? I want a big pan. Does this one look big enough? Yes. It's the right size, but it weighs too much. Well, what do you think of the aluminum pan? It's light enough, but the handle will get too hot after cooking. Here's the same pan, but it has a space-age, heat-resistant plastic handle. Oh, my family's going to love this one. I'll take it. I'm so happy that you found what you wanted. Do you want to use a credit card? Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Does a lid come with this pan? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's the lid. Yes, it comes with the pan. I'm looking for a pan I can use in my kitchen. What size pan were you thinking of? I've already got a small pan. I need a big one. Well, this one might work for you. Oh, no, that's way too heavy a pan for me. 
Here, lift this aluminum pan. It's the same size. Yes, it's very lightweight, but I don't want this aluminum handle. Here's a similar aluminum pan, but it has a heat resistant handle. Oh, this feels very nice. It's perfect. I'll take it. I knew we'd find the right pan sooner or later. How would you like to pay? Cash. But first, I need a lid for this pan. Oh, no problem. Here's the lid that comes with the pan. Can you tell me where the produce is? It's in aisle A. Do you know what produce is on sale? I don't know. Check the flyer or check with the produce person. Where is the produce? It's on the south wall of the store in aisle A. Is there any produce on sale? I don't know. The produce person can tell you, though. Where can I find the produce? Aisle A is where you'll find all the produce. What sales do they have today? I'm sure something is on sale. Please check with the produce person. Which aisle has the produce? Aisle A is where you'll find all the produce. Are cherries on sale today? I don't know, but I'm sure the produce person can tell you. I'm looking for the produce section, please. All of the produce is in aisle A. Are bananas on sale today? Here you go. Look in this flyer or check with the produce person. I'm looking for some fresh produce that's on sale. Well, we just got in some mangoes. Mangoes? What are they? Well, it's a fruit with a big nut in it. Can you eat the nut? No, you peel off the skin and throw out the nut. How much are they? Well, the sale price is one dollar each. What does a mango taste like? They're like a citrus fruit. How do I know if it's ripe? You can buy them hard, wait a few days for them to develop a soft feel. Where do they come from? Most of them in the store are from Mexico. Can you direct me to some fresh produce that's on sale? Well, we've got some great mangoes on sale. Mangoes? What are mangoes? Well, it's a fruit with a big seed in it. Can you eat the seed? No. Peel the skin with a sharp knife and throw out the seed. Well, how much are they? Well, they're on sale today for only one dollar each. Can you describe their taste? They usually taste sweet, but they remind me of an orange. How can I tell if they're ripe? You can buy them either ripe or unripe. Unripe ones are hard. Where do they grow mangoes? The ones that are on sale are from Central America. Where is some fresh produce that's on sale? Well, I think you'll like the mangoes. I've never had a mango. It's a fruit. It has a big stone in it. Can you eat the stone? No. You would break all your teeth on it. How much are these mangoes? The sale price today is one dollar each. Can you describe their taste? They usually taste sweet, but they remind me of an orange. How can I tell if they're ripe? Don't cut into them until you can feel that they are soft on the outside. What country produces them? They come from tropical countries. Can you tell me about some good deals on produce? The mangoes are on sale today. What exactly are mangoes? They have yellowish red skin. It's a fruit with one big seed. Is the seed edible? Maybe if you were a parrot, I wouldn't recommend it. How much does a mango cost? Normally, they're two dollars each. Today, they're only one dollar each. Maybe I won't like the taste. It's hard to describe. They're sweet, but also sort of citrusy. How do I tell the difference between a ripe one and an unripe one? They're similar to an avocado. When the outside feels soft, they're ripe. Where do most of them come from? These are from Mexico. Hi. I'm looking for some good deals on produce. You might want to try the mangoes. Can you describe a mango to me? It's a fruit, a little smaller than a grapefruit. It has a big seed in it. Do I eat the seed? Maybe some animals eat the seed, but humans don't. You'd have to soak it for ten years. What's the price of these mangoes? Today you get a fifty percent discount. They're only one dollar each. Tell me what they taste like. Their flesh is soft and juicy. It has a citrus taste. It's sweet. Do I need to buy them ripe, or will they ripen at home? Just press into it gently with your thumb. If it feels soft, it's ready to eat. 
Where do mangoes come from? These are from Guatemala, but we're going to start getting mangoes from India. Hello, I would like to buy some business cards. Excellent. How many would you like? Two thousand would be fine. You need to fill out this form, please. All I want is the same thing on this card. That will be no problem, sir. Okay, I'm finished. Here's your form and my old card. Very good, sir. Your order will be ready in one week. Do you think you could finish it in three days? No problem, sir. But it will cost you extra. I need to purchase some business cards. No problem. How many are you thinking about? I think two thousand would be fine. If you'll just fill out this form, please. I want the new cards to be exactly like this card. We can do that very easily. Okay, I'm done. Here's the form and my old card. Great. Your order will take only one week. You know, I think it would be better if I could pick it up in three days. We can do that. It'll just cost you extra. I need to get some business cards printed up. Do you know how many you need? I think I can get by with two thousand. We can get started as soon as you fill out this form. I hope you can make the new cards just like my old cards. You won't be able to tell the difference with a magnifying glass. Okay, I'm through. Here's the form and my old card. Very good. You can pick up your order in one week. Now that I think of it, three days is better than seven. We can do that, but you'll have to pay a little extra. I need to order new business cards. Do you have any idea how many you like? I think two thousand would be enough. Would you fill out this form, please? I don't want to make any changes to my old card. If you detect any difference, I'll take you out to dinner. Okay, that's it. Here's the form, and here's my old card to use as a model. Thank you. Your order will be ready seven days from now. I need it sooner. Let me have it in three days, okay? We can certainly give you faster turnaround, but it will cost you extra. I'm about to run out of business cards. I need some new ones. We can print as many as you like. Just tell me how many. Two thousand should get me through the year. Here's a form to get you started. My old card is perfect, so all I want you to do is copy it exactly. I think you'll be very pleased with how well we duplicate your old card. Here you go. Your form and my old business card. Thanks. Come back here next Wednesday to pick up your order, please. I'm sorry, but can you give me a three-day turnaround? If you don't mind paying a little extra, it's absolutely no problem. Do you know where I can find old music boxes? You could try shopping at a flea market. What's that? I've never heard of such a thing. A flea market is an outdoor place where people sell all kinds of used stuff. Okay, where can I find one? Well, you can check the local paper or search flea market online. Where can I find old music boxes? Have you tried a flea market? What's a flea market? A flea market is like an outdoor thrift shop. That sounds promising. Is there one nearby? Flea markets occur weekly or monthly in various neighborhoods. Check online or in a local paper. Do you know where they sell old music boxes? How about a flea market? A flea market? What's that? A flea market is a big outdoor place where you can buy all sorts of secondhand things. I like the sound of that. Tell me where one is. I myself don't know of any, but maybe they're listed in the yellow pages. Do you have any idea where I can buy old music boxes? You can find almost anything at a flea market. What in the world is a flea market? A flea market sells all kinds of used things, some that you've never even heard of. Great. Is there one near here? Actually, our local community college has one on the first Sunday of each month. I'm looking for old music boxes, but I can't find any. If you go to a flea market, you can find all kinds of things. I don't want a music box that's full of fleas. Ha! <laughs> a flea market is a popular outdoor place for selling used things. There are no fleas. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Where is the nearest one? Actually, there's a huge flea market at the stadium of the second Sunday of each month. I need to find a new furniture set for my living room. 
Where are you going to find one? I have no idea. Do you want to know where I bought mine? Where'd you get it from? I got it from Ikea. How much did it cost you? It cost me a couple thousand for the whole set. Is the furniture sturdy? The furniture is built extremely well. I don't mind paying a lot as long as the quality is good. Well, trust me, the quality is fantastic. I'm going to buy a new living room set. Where are you going to buy one? I'm really not sure. You like my living room set, don't you? Where did you buy it? I found mine at Ikea. Are they expensive? Everything I got from Ikea cost me a couple thousand. Is the furniture crafted well? The furniture isn't built cheap. I'll pay the money as long as I'm getting what I pay for. You will feel comfortable paying the money. I have to find a living room set. Where are you planning on looking for one? I don't know. I could tell you where I got mine. Where did you go to find yours? Ikea has beautiful furniture. Does the furniture from Ikea cost a lot? The furniture costs a couple thousand dollars. How good of quality is the furniture? It's very sturdy. You get what you pay for. I don't mind paying for quality workmanship. I assure you that you're paying for quality. Can I help you find something? I would like to buy a new fridge. Is there one in particular that you like? I was looking at this Kenmore refrigerator. Ah, yes. That is a great refrigerator. What's so great about it? It's both affordable and it comes with all the appliances. What appliances? It comes with an ice maker, water dispenser, and there's a lot of room inside. May I see the inside for myself? Be my guest. Wow, you're right. The refrigerator is great. I'll take it. Do you need help with something? I need help finding a new refrigerator. Do you see anything that you like? That Kenmore looks nice. That is a wonderful choice. What makes it so great? It's very inexpensive, and it has all the appliances. What appliances are you talking about? The fridge and the freezer is very spacious, and it also has an ice maker and water dispenser. May I take a look inside? Take a look inside. It's very nice. I'd like to purchase this refrigerator. What can I do for you today? I need to buy a new refrigerator today. Were you looking at a particular refrigerator? I like that Kenmore refrigerator. This particular refrigerator is a very good choice. Tell me about it. Not only is it affordable, but it comes with all the appliances. What are the appliances? It has an ice maker, water dispenser, and plenty of room on the inside. I'd like to see it for myself. Go right ahead. I like what I see. What are you calling about today? I scheduled a delivery for tomorrow. Is there a problem? I would like to reschedule. That shouldn't be a problem. Can I have it delivered the day after tomorrow? So you want it delivered the day after tomorrow? Yes. Will that be possible? What time would you like us to deliver it? Is two thirty okay? Your delivery has been confirmed. Thank you. I'm sorry for the change of plans. How may I help you? I was going to have a mattress delivered to my house. What's the problem? I need to have it delivered another day. That won't be a problem. I need to have it delivered two days from today. You want it delivered in two days? Is that okay? What time do you want it delivered? I would like it delivered at two thirty. I have changed your delivery to that day and time. Thank you for your help. What can I do for you? I was supposed to have my mattress delivered tomorrow. Is something wrong? I need to reschedule the delivery. I can help you with that. I won't be home tomorrow, so I need it done the next day. In two days? Yes, that's when I need it done. At what time? I need it at about two thirty. All right, you're all set with your delivery. That's great. I appreciate your help. What are you working on? I'm figuring out my budget. What budget? I'm making a shopping budget so that I don't spend too much money. How much money can you spend? I can only spend three hundred dollars a month. Why only three hundred? I need to save the rest. For what? I need to pay my bills. Your budget is a good idea. I know it's going to save me a lot of money. I hope. What are you trying to do? I'm working on a budget. What kind of budget? I need to budget my shopping so that I don't spend all my money. What's your budget? I can spend about three hundred dollars per month. Why so little? The rest of my money needs to be saved. What do you need to save up for? I need to pay my bills, silly. You're wise for saving your money. I think it's just common sense. What are you doing?、Mm, I'm trying to figure out my budget. What do you need a budget for? I need to put a limit on my spending. 
What's your spending limit? I'm only allowed to spend three hundred dollars each month. That's not much. Because I need to save the rest of my money. What are you saving for? I have bills to pay for too. It's good that you're being smart with your money. It's about time that I started being smart. Mm, what can I help you with today? My washing machine isn't working. What's the problem? The water will not drain. Is there anything else wrong with it? No, that's it. I can come down and fix that for you if you'd like. When will you be able to fix it? How does this afternoon at two thirty sound to you? That would be perfect. All right, so I'll see you then. See you then. How may I help you? Something is wrong with my washing machine. Tell me the problem. For some reason, the water won't drain. That's the only problem with it. That's the only problem. Would you like me to come fix it for you? Yes. When can you come fix it? I can be there by two thirty today. That would be great. I'll see you at two thirty. See you later. Thanks a lot. Did you need help with something? Yes, I'm having a problem with my washing machine. What is wrong with it? The water isn't draining from it. Is that the only problem? Yes, everything else is working fine. I'm available if you'd like me to come fix it. When exactly are you free? I can come at two thirty this afternoon. Sounds good to me. I'll see you this afternoon. Yes, thank you. I'm planning on going to the market soon. What are you buying? I don't know what we need. I can check for you if you'd like. I'll make a list. First, we need eggs, milk, and bread. Okay. Do we need any meat? How about some chicken, ground beef, and some steak? Mmm. What else do we need? Get some snack foods too, dude. Is there anything else that we need? No, but if you think of anything else, just get it. I need to go to the market. Do you know what to get? I'm not sure what to get. I'll go check for you. Tell me what we need, and I'll write a list. We need the basics like eggs, milk, and bread. Oh,、uh, what kind of meat do we need? You should buy some steaks, some chicken, and、uh, ground beef.、Uh, do we need anything else? Why don't you get some snacks? Can you think of anything else? Get whatever else that you need. I'm going to the market in a little bit. Really? What are you going to get? Do you know what we need to get? Would you like me to check? All right, I'll write everything down. You need to buy bread, eggs, and milk. Should I get some meat? Uh, yes. Get some chicken, ground beef, and steak. What else? Hmm. We can also use some snack foods. You can't think of anything else. You can get whatever else you want. I am really interested in buying this television. That's so great! How much are you selling it for? This TV is only two thousand and five hundred dollars. You can't be serious. Uh, that's how much this TV costs. That's too expensive for me. Well, this television is a very high quality. You can't go down on the price. Um,、uh, buy how much? I'll buy it for two thousand. I'm sorry, but the price is final. I would love to buy this TV. Fantastic! What's the price for it? This television on sale for two thousand five hundred. Seriously? That's the price. That's way too much for me. That is actually very inexpensive for this television. You're on crack. Could you lower the price some? How much are you talking? Uh, two thousand is as high as I'll go. I'm very sorry, but two thousand five hundred is the final price. I want to purchase this television. I am glad to hear that. How much does that cost? I'm selling it for two thousand and five hundred. That can't be right. That's the going price for that particular TV, my friend. I can't afford that. This is a very high quality television. I would buy it if the price was lowered. How much lower? How about you sell it to me for two thousand dollars? Two thousand five hundred is as low as I'll go. I have a problem. What's the problem? My mattress was supposed to be delivered today. Is there a problem? Uh, the delivery people showed up four hours late. I apologize for their tardiness. I was late for work because of them. Again, I do apologize for the inconvenience. I want my money back for the delivery. Seeing as they were late, that won't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to refund your money right now. I'm having a problem. What can I help you with? I was supposed to have my mattress delivered today. Was there a problem with the delivery, sir? Delivery people were four hours late. Oh, I do apologize. Since I had to wait for them, 
I was late for work. I am really sorry about that. I need my money back. I can do that for you. That won't be a problem. I know it shouldn't be a problem. I'm getting your money right now. I have an issue. What is it? I had scheduled a delivery for today. So, what is the problem? The delivery was four hours late. I'm so sorry for them being late. I was late for work because I had to wait up for them. I do apologize. I would like to be refunded my money for the delivery. You'll be refunded for the delivery. It'll be no problem. I shouldn't have to pay for such horrible service. I'll refund you your money right away. How may I help you? <laughs> I'd like to return an item. What are you returning? I want to return the cell phone. Is there a problem? It's broken. What exactly is wrong with it? The phone turns off by itself. That's fine, but do you have your receipt with you? Yes, here it is. I'll refund your money right now. Thank you so much. How can I help you today? I am returning something that I bought yesterday. What would you like to return? I'm returning a cell phone. Was there something wrong with it? It's... Defective. What isn't working on it? It keeps turning off on its own. Oh, all right. Do you have the receipt? I have it right here. I'm going to take care of this and refund you your money. Thanks for your help. What can I do for you? I need to return something. What do you need to return? I need to return this cell phone that I bought. What is wrong with it? It isn't working properly. Mm, what is the problem with it? For some reason, the phone cuts off by itself. I see. And do you have your receipt? Here you go. I'll take care of this right now. I appreciate your help. Thank you for purchasing your new mattress with us. No. Thank you. Would you like us to deliver the mattress for you, sir? That would be great. When do you want it delivered? I need it delivered tomorrow. Will that be possible? What time exactly? I need it delivered at 12 o'clock. We can have it to you at that time. Ah, uh, that's not a problem? No, we will deliver your mattress tomorrow at 12 o'clock. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you for your purchase. No problem. Would you like your mattress delivered? I would like that. When would you like us to deliver it? Can you deliver it uh, tomorrow? <gasps> at what time? Uh, is 12 p.m. okay? We can do that. Are you sure? We will deliver it at that time. Perfect. See you then. Thank you for shopping here. You're very welcome. Would you like to have your mattress delivered to your home? That would be perfect. Thank you. When would you like it to be delivered? I would like it delivered tomorrow. What time would you like it delivered? Yeah, it would, uh, I would like it delivered at noon. That is fine. So... That won't be a problem. We'll have it to you at 12 p.m. tomorrow. That's great. I'll see you tomorrow then. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm just shopping. What are you shopping for? Some new clothes. How about you? Same here. Have you found anything nice yet? I found a few pairs of pants. Where'd you get those? I found them at JCPenney's. Those are really cute. Do you want me to show you where I found them? I would like that. Thank you. What are you doing here today? I felt like doing some shopping. What are you going to buy? I need some new clothes. What about you? I'm trying to find some clothes myself. Have you found anything that you like? I got a new pair of pants. Those are cute. Where'd you get them? I bought them at JCPenney's. I really like those. I'll show you where to get them at. That would be great. <laughs> Funny thing, you here. I'm doing a little bit of shopping. What are you looking for? I'm looking for new clothes. How about you? <sighs> yeah, duh. I'm shopping for clothes, too. What have you bought so far? I got these new pants. Where'd you find those at? I got them at JCPenney's. Those are beautiful. I can show you where to find them, girl, if you'd like. Sure. Thanks a lot. I want to go try on these clothes. What did you find? I found some jeans and a new blouse. Go and try it on. What do you think? I love that shirt on you. What about the jeans? They don't really fit right. I don't think so either. That blouse is absolutely wonderful on you, though. Well, I'll just buy the shirt. That would be a good idea. I need to try these clothes on. What are you going to try on? I just found some jeans and a top. Try it on. How do I look in this? That shirt looks great. How do these jeans look? They don't look nice on you. 
I don't like them either. I just like that shirt. I'm just going to buy the shirt then. Good, because those pants are ugly. Whoa. I'm going to go try these on in the dressing room. What clothes did you find? I'm just trying on a pair of jeans and a shirt. Well, then go try them on. All right. How do I look? You look great in that shirt. What do you think of these jeans? I don't like how those look. I really don't think they look good. That shirt looks great, though. I guess I'm just going to buy the shirt. That would be wise. I need to have my computer fixed. What's the problem? I think it has a virus. Did you buy your computer from us? Yes, I bought it from your store. Did you get the warranty on your computer? Yes, I got the warranty. My computer is showing that the warranty you bought is expired. You can't be serious. You're going to have to pay to have your computer fixed. How much is it going to cost? It's going to be about $120. Dun, dun, dun. I need you to fix my computer. What problems are you having with it? There is a virus on my computer. Oh my. Did you get your computer from our store? I purchased my computer from your store. Did you buy the warranty for your computer? I did purchase the warranty. Your warranty apparently expired two months ago. Is that right? It's going to cost、uh, you for us to fix your computer. How much? To fix your computer, it's going to cost you about $120. Can you fix my computer? What's wrong with it? I believe that it has a virus. Where did you get your computer? From us? Yes, I did. Did you purchase a warranty for the computer? I believe that I purchased the warranty. Hmm, our records are showing that your warranty expired last month. Oh, pickles, I don't believe it. I'm sorry, but it is going to cost you to get your computer fixed. How much will it cost me? It'll run you about $120. I really need to go shopping. What do you need to buy? I need to look for a new bedroom set. Where are you going to go look for one? I have absolutely no idea. You don't know where you want to look for one? No, I'm not sure where they sell nice bedroom sets. Do you want to know where I got mine from? Yes, because I love yours. I purchased mine from IKEA. Is IKEA affordable? Not at all. But you get what you pay for. I have to do some shopping. What are you going to look for? I'm trying to buy a new bedroom set. What store are you going to go to? I'm not sure. You don't know? I have no idea where to find one. Would you like me to tell you where I got mine? I would appreciate that. I went to get mine from IKEA. Is the furniture at IKEA cheap? They're not cheap, but neither is their furniture. I'm going to have to do some shopping today. Oh, yeah? What do you need to go shopping for? I want to find a new bedroom set. Do you know where you're going to find your bedroom set? I have no clue. There's no particular place that you would want to look at? I don't know where to go and find a nice bedroom set. I can tell you where I got mine, if you'd like. Please do. I bought mine from IKEA. Are the bedroom sets at IKEA affordable? Not. Are you planning on transferring? Yes. What about you? Yeah, I think so. Where do you want to go? I was thinking either CSULA or UCLA. Those are great schools. Where do you want to transfer to?、Hmm? I'm not really sure yet. You still have time to figure it out. That's true. Hopefully, you'll figure it out pretty soon. I will. Good luck with CSULA and UCLA. Do you plan on transferring schools? I want to. Do you? I'm thinking about it. Where do you want to transfer to? I want to go to CSULA or. UCLA. Those are pretty good schools. Where are you planning on transferring to? I haven't thought about it yet. At least you still have time to think about it. I know. I hope that you figure it out. I'll think of something. What are your plans? What plans are you talking about? Your plans as far as college. I want to transfer. You want to transfer? That's what I plan to do. Where do you want to transfer to? I want to go to school out of state. Which state? Maybe New York. That would be a big move. I'm still thinking about it. 
Tell me your plans. I'm not sure what plans you're referring to. I'm talking about your college plans. I'm going to transfer colleges. Is that right? That's what I'm working on doing. Where are you going to transfer to? I don't know yet. Somewhere out of state, probably. Which state exactly? New York would be nice. That's pretty far away. I know it's a big move. That's why I'm still thinking about it. What plans have you made? My plans, as far as what? Your plans for college. Oh, I plan on transferring. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the plan. What school are you transferring to? I want to transfer to a school out of state. Which state are you thinking of? I wouldn't mind transferring to a school in New York. That's on the other side of the country. I know, but I'm still weighing my options. What classes have you taken so far? I've been working on my GE classes. Is that all? That's it for right now. What about your other classes? I'm working towards transferring schools. Which classes have you finished already? I've finished all of my English and math classes. How many classes do you have left for your GE? Only three. That's amazing. I'm almost ready to transfer. Which classes have you completed? I have been taking classes for my general education. Those are the only classes. That's all I need to take right now. Why don't you take any other classes? I'm just working on transferring right now. What classes are you done with? I'm done with all my math and English classes. How many more classes do you need to finish your GE? I have three more. That's great. I just need three more classes, and I can transfer. What classes have you been taking? I've been taking my GE classes. That's it. That's all that I need right now. Why haven't you been taking any other classes? I'm taking classes so that I can transfer soon. What classes have you taken so far? I don't need to take any more English or math classes. How many GE classes do you have left? I have about three left. Good job. Yeah, I'm just about ready to transfer. Are you planning on taking classes next semester? Yeah, that's the plan. What classes are you going to take? I'm going to take an English and math class. What else are you taking? I'm also going to take a psychology class. Is that for your major? It counts towards my major, but I'm taking it as part of my GE. Oh, so you're working on finishing your GE? That's all I'm trying to do right now. Why are you only working on your GE classes? Once I finish these classes, then I can transfer. Are you going to take classes next semester? I plan to. Which classes? I will be taking another English and math class. Is there anything else? I'm going to take a psychology class. Are you taking the psychology class as part of your major? It goes toward my GE and my major. So you're just working on your GE right now? Yeah, that's the plan for right now. Why order your GE classes? I'll be able to transfer once I finish those classes. Are you going to take some classes next semester? Of course. Which ones? I need to take another English and math class. That's it. I think I may also sign up for a psych class. Is the psychology class for your major? That class will count toward my GE and my major. You're just trying to finish your GE. I need to finish these classes for now. I don't understand why you're only working on your GE classes. Because I can't transfer until I finish those classes. What are you doing? I'm just filling out applications. Applications for what? I'm filling out college applications. But you're already in college. I'm going to transfer. What school are you going to transfer to? I still need to fill out the applications. What schools are you applying to? I'm applying to NYU and UCLA. I wish you luck. Thank you. I hope I get accepted. What's up? I'm filling out these applications. What applications? College applications. You're in college already. I'm planning on transferring to another school. Which school? I won't know until I mail these applications. Which schools are you applying to? I'm going to apply to NYU and UCLA. I hope all goes well with that. Cross your fingers. What are you up to? 
I'm filling out applications. You're filling out applications for what? They're college applications. You're already in college. I know. I'm going to transfer to a different school. What school are you transferring to? I'm not sure yet. I'm still filling out applications. What colleges are you going to apply to? I'm filling out applications to NYU and UCLA. Good luck with that. I hope one of the two accepts me. Is this where I go to register for classes? This is it. I need to add a few classes. What classes would you like to add? I need to take some classes that will help me transfer. Have you finished any classes so far? This is my first semester. Did you already take the placement test? I took it last month. What English and math classes were you placed in? I got placed in Math 131 and English 1A. Okay, I'll register you for both of these classes. Do I need to register here? You're in the right place. I'd like to add some classes. What classes do you need? I need to take some GE classes. What classes have you finished so far? I just started here. You're going to need to take the placement test. I took it a month ago. Do you know what English and math classes you placed in? The test placed me in English 1A and Math 131. I'll add those classes to your schedule. Is this the registration desk? Yes, this is the place. I need to get some classes. What classes would you like? I need to finish my GE classes so that I can transfer. Have you finished any of your GE classes yet? This is going to be my first semester. Have you taken the placement test yet? I believe I already took the placement test last month. What math and English classes did you get placed in? I was placed in English 1A and Math 131. I'll make sure you have those classes this semester. Goody gumdrops. What can I help you with today? I need to talk to you about transferring. Where did you want to transfer to? I have no idea. You have plenty of time to think about it. What do I need to do in order to transfer? You're going to need to finish your general education. How many classes is that? The GE is 60 credits worth of classes. Is that a lot? You can finish in about two years. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Can I help you? May I talk to you about transferring schools? Where would you like to transfer to? I haven't figured that out yet. You have more than enough time to figure it out. What must I do to transfer? First, you have to complete your general education. How many GE classes are there? You need 60 credits of GE classes. How long will that take? If you work fast, you can finish in a matter of two years. I can do that. What do you need? I wanted to talk to you about transferring. What school do you want to transfer to? I'm not really sure yet. You still have time to think about it. What do I need to do in the meantime? You'll need to finish your GE. Exactly. How many classes would I need to take? You need to complete 60 credits worth of classes to finish your general education. That sounds like a lot of classes. It will take you at the most two years, depending on your pace. That shouldn't be too hard. Can you help me with something, sir? What do you need? Well, I was planning on transferring soon. Where are you going to transfer? I want to transfer either to NYU or UCLA. I'm glad to hear that. But what can I do for you? I was wondering if you could write a couple of reference letters for me. Is that all? That's all I need from you. I can do that for you. You're a lifesaver. They'll be ready tomorrow. I need your help. What do you need me to do for you? I want to transfer pretty soon. Where to? I'm applying to both NYU and UCLA. What do you need me to help you with? Could you write two letters of reference for me? Is that all that you need? It would mean a lot to me. I'll write a couple of letters for you. I really appreciate your help. Pick them up for me tomorrow. Do you think that you can help me? What could I do for you? I'm going to be transferring school soon. That's great. Where do you want to transfer to? I'm going to apply to NYU and UCLA. That's wonderful. But what do you need from me? I need you to write a couple of letters of reference for me. That's it? Yes, that's it. That shouldn't be a problem. Thank you so much. I'll have them ready for you tomorrow. You got a letter in the mail. Give it to me. What is it? It's from NYU. What does it say? 
I didn't get accepted. You can't be serious. I'm serious. Are you all right? NYU was my first choice. I'm sorry that you didn't get in. I'll just have to wait for you, Silway. There's a letter here for you. Let me see it. What's the letter about? It's a letter from NYU. Tell me what it says. I didn't get in. You're lying. I'm not lying. Are you upset? I had high hopes for NYU. I'm sorry you didn't get accepted. Hopefully, I'll get accepted to UCLA. You've received a letter in the mail. Give it here. Who's the letter from? I think it's my acceptance letter from NYU. I want to know what it says. They didn't accept me. Are you serious? It's the truth. Are you okay? I really wanted to get into NYU. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. I'm still waiting to hear from you, so I, anyway. Have you figured out where you want to transfer to? I can't think of where to go. Where would you like to go to school? <laughs> I really don't know. You can't think of anything? I really like where I'm at now. So why don't you just stay there? That may be what I'm going to do. It's a perfectly good school. You're absolutely right. Do you know what you're going to do now? I'm just going to stay at PCC. Do you know where you want to transfer to? I don't have the slightest clue. What school would you like to go to? I'm not sure. You honestly have no idea? PCC is perfectly fine for me. You might as well stay here. That's not a bad idea. PCC is a wonderful institution. You have a point. So what are you going to do? I'm just going to keep going to PCC. Where are you planning on transferring to? I can't seem to make a decision. Where do you want to go? I honestly have no idea. You haven't thought about it? I like it here at PCC. Why don't you just continue going to PCC? I like that idea. It's a great school. I completely agree. So, have you made your decision yet? I'm staying right here where I'm at. You got a letter in the mail. Give it to me. What is it? It's my acceptance letter from UCLA. What does it say? I've been accepted. Are you serious? I'm serious. Good for you. NYU was my first choice. But UCLA is just fine. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of myself, too. Here's a letter for you. Let me see it. Who's the letter from? It's a letter from UCLA about my acceptance. Read it. UCLA accepted me. Really? I'm not joking. I got accepted. I'm so happy for you. UCLA was my second choice, but I'm happy knowing I've been accepted. I'm really proud of you. You have no idea how proud I am of myself. A letter came for you in the mail. Give it here. What's the letter about? I think it's my acceptance letter from UCLA. Did you get in? I got in. You're not kidding. They really let me in. Congratulations. I really wanted to get into NYU, but UCLA is just as good. You have no idea how proud I am of you. I'm so excited. Are you ready yet? What are you talking about? You're transferring tomorrow. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you nervous? Of course I am. What are you nervous about? I won't know anybody. That shouldn't be a problem. Why? It's good to meet new people. You're right. I should be okay. You ready? Am I ready for what? Are you ready to transfer to a new school tomorrow? Oh, yes. I'm ready to transfer. You're not nervous, are you? I'm very nervous. Why are you nervous? I'm not going to know anybody there. That's not a problem. That makes me nervous. It's fun meeting new people. I didn't think about it in that way. You're ready, right? Ready for what? Are you ready to transfer tomorrow? Yes, I am ready. You're not nervous. Of course I'm nervous. What are you most nervous about? I won't know anybody at that school. You shouldn't be nervous about that. Why not? Meeting new people is a good thing. That's a good way to think about it. Are you new here? Yes, I am. Is this your first year in college? I actually transferred here from another school. Which school? I transferred from PCC. How do you like it here compared to PCC? I love it here. Do you like it better here or at PCC? Don't get me wrong. I like it here, but 
PCC is better. So, why did you leave PCC? Because I got my AA and am now working towards my bachelor's degree. You're new here, right? Yes, I am new. Is this your first semester? I just transferred from another school. What school did you transfer from? I came here from PCC. Do you like it here so far? I am really enjoying it here so far. Which is better, here or PCC? I think PCC is a lot better than here. Why didn't you just stay at PCC? I graduated and now want to get a BA. You must be new. As a matter of fact, I am. Have you just started college? No, I transferred here from a different school. What school? I transferred here from PCC. Do you like it here? I really like it here so far. Do you like it better here or at PCC? I like PCC better. If that's the case, then why did you leave? I graduated and am working towards my next degree. Are you new to this school? Yes, I am new. Is this your first year in college? I transferred from another school. Where did you transfer from? I was at PCC before. Why did you transfer? I was going to go here first, but my grades weren't good enough. Did you like it at PCC? PCC is an incredible school. Well, I wish you luck here. I'm sure I'll like it here. Are you new here? This is my first day here. Are you a freshman in college? I started school somewhere else. What school did you transfer from? I started at PCC. What made you transfer? My grades weren't good enough to go here. Did you like PCC? I loved PCC. Good luck here. I'm excited to be here. You're new here, right? Yes, I am. Will this be your first year? No, I transferred here. What school did you come from? I transferred from PCC. Why did you transfer here? I wanted to attend the school originally, but my grades out of high school weren't good enough. Is PCC a good school? PCC is great. I hope you enjoy it here. Thank you very much.